Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can make your Photoshop Elements Smart Object Layers more useful by using the Elements Plus plugin. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell notification icon a couple of times to get notifications of my new videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. I showed you in a previous video the benefits of working with smart object layers. Let me just show you that right here. We'll bring in a new layer here. File, come down to place. Let's just use this one right here and place that in. When you place a picture in Photoshop Elements, it comes in as a smart layer object. I'll choose the green check mark. You can see right there this little icon right there. That means that this is a smart layer object. Now the thing about that is you can resize this without damaging the image because each time you resize, Photoshop Elements goes back to the original and refigures from that original image. So it retains the highest quality possible. A lot of things you can't do though to one of these smart object layers, you can't, for instance, apply filters. Let's just see what happens. Go create a filter, come down, I'll just grab the filter gallery right here. And notice that you have to simplify the layer. In other words, convert it from a smart object layer into just a regular layer before you can apply a filter, which means that if you do things like resizing, it'll get messed up. So you aren't able to apply filters or other adjustments that actually change the pixels in here on your layer. Let's take a look now at some new features that you can do, some things you can do by adding in the Photoshop Elements Plus plugin. Let's first show you where that is. I'm just going to hide that layer right there. Let me bring that up. I have it sitting right back here in a browser window. It's called Elements Plus, and it does a lot of stuff. This is a great plugin. Let me just first show you the price real quickly here by full version. Right there, it's only $12. This is a really inexpensive plugin and does just an amazing amount of stuff for you. Now you have to get a different version of the plugin for each of the different versions of Elements. If you upgrade from one version to the next, you'll have to repurchase this for that next version. So there's no upgrade path, but it's only $12. It isn't really an issue. Okay, let's see what this does now. I'll just scroll down here. There's a lot of stuff. These are all the different versions up here and some of the stuff that it can do. If we come down here to Layers, and right below layers, we have smart objects right here. Notice that these work with you know, most of the different versions of Photoshop Elements. And a lot of stuff in here that you can do with these smart objects, which you can't do in the regular Photoshop. Let me just go ahead and bring that back up again. And let me demonstrate a couple things you can do in here with this new Elements Plus way of working with smart objects. First off, I'll just delete this layer right here, get that out of the way. And let's make a duplicate of this background. Let's choose Duplicate Layer and choose OK. Then I'll hide that background there. One of the things that you cannot do in the regular version of Photoshop Elements without a plugin is you can't convert an existing layer into a smart object layer. You don't have that ability. You can do that, though, inside of the Elements Plus. Now, when you install Elements Plus, you'll find it in two different spots, either down in the Effects panel right here It'll be at the top of your list. There it is. And here are a couple things to look at. We have the smart filters are right here. A lot of things, as you can see, selections, there's our layers and our smart filters. A lot of stuff that you can do in here with the Elements Plus. We'll concern ourselves with the smart filters and with the layers up here. So you'll either find it down here under the effects or if you go over to the file menu and come down to automation tools, you'll find them all listed right down here. A little E plus there for Elements Plus. These are exactly the same thing as we have over here. It's just text version as opposed to buttons. So I'll first start off with layers. And in here, one of the options here is convert to linked object. And that basically means making this into a smart layer object. Now it does this differently in Elements Plus than it does over in Photoshop Elements where you place it and it's a smart object. Let me show you what happens. I'll just double click on this and it's going to make a copy of that layer. You can see right down there, background copy.psd. It takes the name of the layer and uses that to make a new file, a new Photoshop file. 
Let's go back to our layers now. You can see here, little icon down there. It has made this into a smart layer object. Now the way this worked is that it took this layer here, saved that out as another file, and then it links this layer to that new file. The nice thing about that is that you can be working in your elements, working on your picture, you know, drawing, painting, changing, whatever you want to do. You can then convert it to a smart object layer at that point, and that gives you the ability to resize without making a mess of things. Let's just demonstrate that. So we're on this layer. I'll use the Control T keyboard shortcut. Bring up our control handles. Just make this real small. Click on the green check mark. Control T again. Bring our handles up again. Make it real large. You can do this a couple of times. There we go. Now, if this were a rasterized layer, a non-smart object layer, the next time I do this, it's going to really begin to get messed up. Go ahead. We'll do it one more time. Real small. Green check mark. Control T again. Bring that back up again. And notice how we're retaining all of the quality in there. That's because this layer has now been saved out as a separate file. And each time I do a resize, Photoshop Elements Plus is going out to that other file and then refiguring from that file. So we're not losing any quality in there on all those resizing. So with the Elements Plus plugin, you can convert an existing layer. It doesn't have to be a photo. It can be anything on that layer. But you can convert an existing layer into a smart object layer. So really, really useful option in here if you need to resize things while you're working. Now the other thing that you can do in Photoshop Elements with the Elements Plus is that you can apply filters to smart object layers. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to start back here at the original again. I'll make a copy of this. One more duplicate here, duplicate layer. There we go. Now I could have used this one, but I wanted to show you one more thing that happens on this. If we go back to our effects, I'll use it this way this time. Right here we have the smart filters and notice that we made a new copy of the background so it was not a smart layer. So this is going to create a new smart layer for us. Choose OK and brings up the smart filters box right here. Now what you do is you add a smart filter in here and all of your main filters are displayed. This is everything from the filter menu. Let's just do the filter gallery. It loads that in. Here's our filter gallery. We can now apply an effect onto this. Let's just find something that's kind of easy to see. Maybe a sketch effect like that. It's kind of a basic sketch look. I'll darken a little bit there. There we go. So it's done a major change on the pixels in here. And choose OK. There it is. Now, normally in Photoshop Elements, if I applied a filter gallery effect and then I resized it, it's going to mess that up. It'll get fuzzier and fuzzier each time I resize that. But interestingly, here in the Elements Plus, let's go ahead and do a resize. Let's look at our layers again. Notice it's giving me a new layer up here. That's the layer with my effect on it. And notice our little smart object icon right there, bottom right-hand corner. Look, okay, I'll do the Control T keyword shortcut. Now, here's the neat thing about this. It's going to turn off the effect. It'll resize it as a smart layer and then reapply the effect afterwards. Let's see how that works. Choose OK. There it is. Taking the effect off momentarily. I'll bring that down in size. Choose OK here. And let's hide that background right there. There we go. Do the same thing again. Control T. Again, it's going to hide that. Resize. Choose OK. And it reapplies that effect and it retains all of that image quality. What this means, of course, is that with the Elements Plus, you have the ability to apply filters onto a smart layer, which means you also have the ability to make size changes without any loss of image quality, even if that layer has effects applied onto it. We saw two different ways of doing that. So there you go. It's a great addition. Actually makes the smart object much, much more useful here inside of Photoshop Elements by adding in that very inexpensive $12 Elements Plus plugin. Let me bring that back up again here so you can see where that's at. It's right here, and it's at elementsplus.net. There it is, easy to find. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. And to learn everything about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.